I did interview Paul McCartney, and gosh darn, do I wish that I had pictures or something. This was pre-iPhone. But um, uh, my husband was with me, and he's a big Beatle fan, too, and we went to Capitol Records, and we interviewed Paul McCartney, and, you know, Linda was there, and by that time, I was a vegetarian, and so we totally bonded over that, and, you know, he, so many times with the really big celebrities, they've done it so many times, and they know that being kind to that super nervous person in front of them is the right thing to do, and... He was just so lovely, and I do at least have his autograph, and I do have, um, you know, we were doing the interview, and he was sitting like I'm doing. He was drinking tea. And so he gets up, and he um, leaves, and I got an autograph, and my husband got an autograph, and Linda gave us an autograph. And he left, and I looked down at where he had been sitting, and I saw his teacup, and I looked in, and there was still some tea in there with milk, I remember. And I remember thinking to myself, I don't care if I get a bacterial infection. If I get it from Paul McCartney, it's all good. So I just picked up the cup and I drank the tea. And then I was just looking around, you know, Capitol Studios, you know, the famous round building. And uh, no, nobody's particularly looking at me. And I was like, okay, cool. I should open my bag. And I put the teacup right in my bag because I, I thought, you know, if you're going to do something sneaky, just do it right out in the open. And then I was like, I'm gonna pick up the spoon, I put it right in. I picked up the saucer, I put it right in my bag. I've got it all inside the house. And uh, I guess you could say, since I haven't washed it, if there's an emergency and we need to clone Paul McCartney, let me know because, oh, except his DNA is now merged with mine. So it would be our child because I drank the tea. So um, yeah, I did drink the, uh, I did drink Paul McCartney's tea.